What if you could double your productivity by streamlining your to-do lists? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do inside of this video. Now, this is actually a process that I undertook because I realized that my to-do list was just getting way too long and way too cluttered for me to actually be as productive as I could be. So I actually turned to a book called Getting Things Done by David Allen, a fantastic book that outlines a really valuable strategy that you can use to actually break up your to-do list. Now this video isn't just gonna be a summary of this book because I actually found a slight variation on the strategies that he mentioned that worked really well for me. And I wanna share this with all of you as well because this is a very simple and quick and easy way to actually streamline your to-do list to be able to get more done and feel a lot less stressed every time you look at the to-do list. Now, let's talk about the problem. If you're like me, your to-do list might look, well, pretty long. I literally had over 400 different items on my to-do list and I just had one main to-do list. And what I was trying to do at different points is I created a variation, I created some other to-do lists. I said, okay, these are the things that are important. These are not as important. I categorized, I sectioned, nothing seemed to work. And so that led me on a quest to really figure out how can I streamline my to-do list productivity. And that led me to David Allen's book. Now, inside of his book, Getting Things Done, he outlines a lot. And one of the big things that he talks about is how to structure your to-do list into five main buckets. Now, make sure you keep watching this video though, because I'm gonna tell you the additional to-do list that I added in that's actually been helping me, so I turned it into six, and I also tweaked a little bit. But first, I'm gonna tell you what David Allen recommends within his book and then I'll tell you the adaptation that I was able to use that's been massively increasing my productivity. What you wanna do is categorize into these five main lists. The first is the in list. This is the list that you use whenever you have an idea, whenever a new task uh, that you need to do comes up, whether somebody brings it to you or you come up with it yourself, ideas that you have, future ideas, anything that you can think of throughout your day, this in list really is an opportunity for you to fill it up as ideas come to you, as tasks come to you, as people say, hey, I need this done, you put it into the end list. So once you have your end list and you're filling that up as you have new ideas, what you wanna do is you wanna have a second list, which is your next actions. Now these are actionable to-do list items, items that actually have an action associated with them. They're not ideas, they're not projects, it's an action such as film a new video or make sure that you update or send this email, you update this web page, right? These are actual actionable tasks. You ask yourself the question, are these actionable? So you can set up your list of next actions. These are all the actions that you need to take. And this is where you're really gonna be referring to on a day-to-day -day basis as your main to-do list, your next actions list. Now, what you also wanna do is you wanna have another list, a third list according to David Allen, which is called waiting for updates. This is a list where you're waiting for other people to update you on the progress of specific tasks. Now, this works really well if you have a team or if you have a company or you have other people that are doing things on your behalf. Now this category allows you to double check uh, to say, oh wait, you know, I asked this person if they were going to be able to send an email uh, about this particular project. So now that it's in my updates, I can double check, hey, did you happen to send, up the, send out this email? Once that happens, you just mark it off of that list. And then you next have projects. Now projects are uh, more of an area that you can put bigger projects that you're working on. And this allows you to add in these big projects. Let's say building a new studio could be a whole new project, or uh, creating a new product or offer inside of your business could be a project. And the fifth list that David Allen recommends creating is someday slash maybe. Now this is where you can put ideas that you have, things that you might do. These are not actual to-do list items yet because you haven't decided if you're going to do them. It's a someday or maybe. This is your catch-all for bigger picture, longer term, or even just ideas you're not sure you wanna do yet. You can put those ideas inside the someday slash maybe. So, what I found works really well is to implement those different strategies, but then I created six main lists. Now I use Asana, you can use whatever type of task management software that you prefer, but what I've done is I've created six lists. The first list is similar to the in list, but I call it my notes. I put it as notes because that's really what I'm thinking about, right? I'm putting notes down. Then what I do is at the start of each new day, 
I take a look at my notes, my in list, and then I recategorize to my other five lists. Now, the other five lists, the next list is next actions. Took that directly from David Allen uh, using my next action list. Is it actionable? And do I wanna do it next? Right now, my next actions list has about 20 to 24 next actions on it. A lot more, a lot easy to tackle, right? A lot more clear, here's exactly what I need to do. And I can go through and take care of each of these individual next actions. Now, I also have my future actions. Future actions being, they're actionable, I'm going to do them, I've decided I'm going to do them, I need to do them, but they're not required within this week. Now, I also have my waiting for updates list. This is exactly as described. It's waiting for updates. I'm waiting to, to check in on how my team has implemented uh, some of the different uh, ideas or different tasks that I've assigned to them. Then I also have my projects list, which has all of the different projects that I have listed out. And that allows me to create subcategories that I can then pull over into my other list. And finally, I have my ideas list. That's really just a rename for the someday slash maybes, but I love coming up with ideas and putting that into a big ideas list has worked really well for me. And this strategy has allowed me to double my productivity on my to-do list by lasering in on exactly what I need to do, making it very clear, much more organized, and being able to have the right categories for everything I need to do. Definitely recommend checking out Getting Things Done by David Allen and testing this out for yourself. Like me, you might wanna create a variation and whatever's gonna work best for you. Now, if you found this video valuable, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. We've got lots of great content here and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video.